Production for Panther Sports Talk is brought to you in part by Johnson's Automotive Service is a proud supporter of Panther Sports on WEIU. Johnson's is a complete car facility for all your automotive repair and maintenance needs. Johnson's Automotive Service, keeping your life running. Welcome to another edition of Panther Sports Talk right here on WIU. I'm your host, Rich Moser. We're joined this week by EIU men's basketball coach Jay Spoonhour. The women are on the road this week, so we won't have head coach Debbie Black. At the end of the show, we'll show some of their highlights from some of their games. And coach, you guys took that last big road swing, the, the I guess death row, as you like to call it, in the OVC, and, and our side at least, on the, on the West Division. You went to Austin P and Murray State and kind of played well in both games and just the last couple minutes, a couple plays didn't go Eastern's way and we're, we're able went the other team's home team's way and the road swings not done yet you're in the <laughs> middle of the road swing still so you're you know now you get uh, if that if those two are hard going to Belmont is going to be you know <laughs> we know how hard that'll be so um, yeah I thought we competed well I mean we, we really really played well and fought back at Austin P and had um, dug ourselves a hole but but uh, Jake Verhagen really really shot it in well Dylan Chapman played a great game um, and and then he hears Sherman Blanford's just been unbelievable, you know, really every game. And, and so got it down to, at P, got it down to three, I guess, with about 50 seconds to go or 40 seconds to go, and they started making foul shots. But, um, and then at, at, at Murray, we competed fine. I mean, it was, it was good. They're, they're obviously a good team. Um, you know, if you look at it, you know, where we were last year when we went down there, you just, you know, you you're doing everything you could just to try to stay yep. in a thing. And here, this at the last TV timeout, it's a I don't know three or four point game, and so that's where we've got you know we've got ourselves to now where we're can at least think about winning these games on the road. Haven't been able to figure out how to get one yet, but you still got a couple more chances at it. Now on Thursday, you mentioned the team you guys are going to go to to continue the road swing. You go to Belmont, Belmont, a team that lost a lot of players from last year. Most people, I think, would think they're down, but Rick Bird seems to have kind of built him a system over his years there, and just kind of finds a new guy and, and plugs him in and they just kind of keep turning it out. Yeah, last year's team was really, I mean, they really had good guards last year um, and just had, a, just had a great team. I mean, that was really a, a good team. They, um, the, I think that when they got in the NCAA tournament, the rest of the country didn't see just how good they were because no, they, they didn't make anything in the tournament, um, which was, was really a shame because I was really hoping that they would go in there and really play well. Um, but they, um, you know, it, it, what you said about their system is really true. Um, that's not to say that they don't have good players because they do. Um, you know, a lot of times you'll get into saying, well, it's just the, the system they run. It's not true. Those guys are really good players. Um, and uh, he is a, he's an outstanding coach and has been for a long time. I mean, he, they've been good really for, shoot, for 20 years. Um, so the, the thing about them is they are really a lot different than everybody else in our league. And so you prepare for in our league you prepare for a lot of guard play ball screens guys that drive it uh you know that kind of thing drive and kick and they have more actions away from the ball they run different offense not saying necessarily better because i don't know what is what's you know that's just kind of an opinion deal i know this i enjoy watching how they play i i like that i mean they 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 all handle the ball they move the ball and uh they cut you and they screen you and it's uh it's fun to watch if you're not having to defend it and and uh so it'll, it'll definitely be hard and it'll be so different than what we've been facing that, you know, it'll be tough for our guys. But, um, you know, it's, a, it's one of those things you have to be able to play against every different kind of style. Now, you mentioned that a little bit. Some of the guys, you don't have a lot of guys that are back from last year's team that have seen this style. So a lot of times if you have a veteran team and you're going to play someone like Belmont, at least they've, they've seen it before. This is going to be fresh to most of these guys that are out there. Yeah, well, and you, you know, everybody has, play, you know, if you've played basketball, you've played against, teams that run motion type stuff and back cut and play, you know, away from the ball, you have to be dialed in. But you really haven't seen it all year. We haven't seen anything quite like this, what they do all year. And so, you know, what happens is you just, you get so dialed into, okay, I've got to guard pressure this guy, you know, stay in front, guard, get through these ball screens. And, you know, it's not like what they're doing is just completely off the map, but it is different. And so it'll take some it'll take some concentration here. You know, here we are filming this thing. We've got three days of practice to try to get to where we can you know recognize what they're doing and, and how to stop it. And so um, you know, I think for us, uh, we've been better offensively. We've gotten a, we've done a good job getting back here recently. We um, so you know, I mean, I, I think that 
getting to the point where you're running out of games. You need you need <laughs> something. To, some week, we were talking about it before this. How many wins do you need to get in? You know, it's doable that you can get in where you're sitting at right now, but you'd sure feel a heck of a lot better if you had one more win. Now, after that, based on the way the schedule went, you guys are playing Belmont on Thursday. Normally, the Saturday would have been a bracket buster. That's right. no longer an event that, that takes place. So you got another home game in. It's a non-conference home game. Chicago State on Monday night. Not only is it a non-conference game and able to kind of break up that road swing, but yeah. it's going to be senior night. You only have one, Sherman Blanford, and he's really kind of, I guess, if you could get a couple other guys like that, you'd have a, have a really, with the effort he puts out there in the work, you'd have a really good team. You'd be really happy. And, and, and you know, the thing about it, Sherm's, you know, he is a guy, he, he's trying to win all the time. And, and sometimes we had said earlier last year, or maybe even earlier this year, um, that he was trying to do too much offensively or whatever and, and, um, and, would, and would sometimes make bad plays. Well, that may, and maybe that was true, but he has now gotten to where he's making those plays that he was trying to make earlier in the year. Um, I don't know what the numbers are, but I mean, he's had over 30 points and has been over 20, like maybe the last six games and had, you know, had, had a, at Austin P it was what, 32 points and 18 yeah. rebounds. I mean, you're talking about some phenomenal numbers and, and a lot of the stuff he gets, you know, it's, it, you know, it's, it's within our offense, but he goes and gets his own, he just goes and gets the ball off the rim and he hustles and he gets, you know, he just picks up you know, loose balls and everything he does, he earns. And, and he's just, he's been outstanding. And so, you know, for him, I, I, I hope everybody can get out here on Monday just because he's, he has really, really had a nice little two year career uh, for us. And, and, um, and, and he's a heck of a good kid. And the other thing you talk about that during the course of the game, while he's, when he's not getting his, he, he seems to be an unselfish player that yeah. it just kind of his energy picks other guys up. And yeah. if he doesn't have it going, he still tries to play hard so those other guys can feed off he that. He plays hard all the time. I mean, the, the only times that he doesn't, it's, when he doesn't look like he's playing hard, it's because he's absolutely gassed. And he's so <laughs> tired that he can't get him down the court. Um, because you look at he's got a football-style body. Um, and so, you know, it would help him if we got to huddle, but we don't. <laughs> so uh, he, he is a, just a guy that's got, he's a big, powerful, strong guy. And I think that last year he probably averaged, I don't know, maybe 28 or 29 minutes a game. And, and earlier this year, he was probably playing around that same amount. Uh, but here lately, it's, he's been so good, you can't take him out. So he's playing about 35 minutes a game. And he, you know, everybody, We've all been tired at one time in our life, and most of us just kind of slow down or stop. And he does it. He has he's continued to try to fight through it, and that's that's. I mean, I'm 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 happy for him. I'm really proud of the way he's doing stuff. All right, coach. You guys will remind be back at Belmont on Thursday night. You'll be able to hear that game on the radio. Then back at home Monday night against Chicago State, seven o'clock. Senior night for Sherman Blanford. Hopefully, everybody will be out there with a nice crowd. We're going to go to this week in EIU athletics. They're going to come back with a feature on women's tennis player Janelle Pressner, and then wrap up the show with some highlights from the men's and women's basketball home games. The recent couple games against SIU Edwardsville and Southeast Missouri. Thanks for watching Panther Sports Talk, everybody. Off the screen between the circles. Fired it left wing to Verhagen. They lob it left block. Petrowski takes a dribble inside and dunked it. Petrowski maneuvered through two defenders and dunked it home. Eastern Illinois Panther basketball is on WEIU. It's an in-state battle at Lance Arena as EIU takes on Chicago State in the Panthers' regular season home finale. It's the Panthers and Cougars Monday at 9 on WEIU, your home for Panther basketball. Panther fans, here's what's going on in Panther Athletics. Men's basketball drops two OVC Road contests this past week at Austin P and Murray State. They're now 9 and 17 overall and 6 and 8 in the OVC, which puts them in 7th place in the latest OVC men's basketball standings. Women's basketball with a split on the road in OVC play this past week, losing at Murray State and then on Monday night picking up their first OVC Road win at Austin P. They're now 11 and 13 overall and 6 and 7 in OVC play, which puts them in 7th place in the latest OVC women's basketball standings. Track competed at the Grand Valley State Big Meet in Michigan this past weekend and the Panthers posted four first place finishes. Baseball got their 2014 season underway. They had a four game series at number 14 ranked Louisiana Lafayette. The Panthers won game one 5 to 1. They start the season 1 and 3. Softball improved to 6-4 and four on the season, going 4-1 and one at the Mardi Gras Classic in Monroe, Louisiana. They picked up wins against Louisiana Monroe, two wins over Grambling State, and one over Houston Baptist. 
and men's tennis improved to three and two on the season, winning four to three at Dayton. Now here's what to watch for this week. On Thursday, it's day two for swimming at the Summit League Championships in Indianapolis. And men's basketball is in Nashville, Tennessee for a seven o'clock game against Belmont. You can listen to that game on HitMix 88.9 WEIU. On Friday, swimming with day three at the Summit League Championships. Women's tennis is in Peoria as they take on Bradley at 12 o'clock. Track hosts EIU Friday night at the Lance Fieldhouse with competition beginning at two o'clock. And baseball begins a three game series at Arkansas with the first game beginning at three o'clock. And softball is in Jackson, Mississippi for a weekend tournament. They'll take on the host Jackson State in game one at four o'clock. On Saturday, swimming wraps up competition at the Summit League Championships. Softball continues action at the Jackson State Tourney. They'll take on Kansas at 10 o'clock in the morning, followed up with a night game at 7.30 against Southeastern Louisiana. Baseball with game two of their three-game series at Arkansas at 1 o'clock. Men's tennis is in Carbondale to take on Southern Illinois at 1 o'clock. And women's basketball is in Nashville to take on Belmont at 2 o'clock in an OVC battle. You can listen to that game on HitMix 88.9 WEIU. On Sunday, baseball wraps up their three-game series at Arkansas at 1 o'clock. Softball with their final game of the Jackson State tourney as they take on the host Jackson State Tigers at 1 o'clock. And women's tennis travels north to take on Chicago State at 3 o'clock. On Monday, men's basketball with their regular season home finale at Lance Arena as they host Chicago State in a non-conference affair. You can listen to the game live at 7 o'clock on HitMix 88.9 WEIU, or you can then watch a tape delay broadcast at 9 o'clock on WEIU-TV. And next Tuesday, February 25th, baseball travels to nationally ranked Louisville for a 2 o'clock game. For Panther Sports Talk, I'm Ramin Kerbasiun. WEIU is your home for Eastern Illinois Panther sports, Panther football. Here comes the blitz. Jimmy's going to throw it deep down the middle. Laura's out there. Got it. And he's on his way. Garoppolo burns the blitz. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. Panther basketball. All the way. Laid it up. No. Another dunk. Petrowski again. Back-to-back -back rebound dunk. Panther greats. WEIU is your home for Panther sports. Eastern Illinois women's tennis is 3-0 on the young spring season, and they're led by lone senior Janelle Prisoner. Prisoner says that while she plays both doubles and singles, her real goal is providing a good example to her younger teammates. Singles is more of a competitive one-on-one, um, -on -one, whereas doubles is more fun, light-spirited. Um, you have to be continuously pumping up your partner, you have to be, keep yourself pumped up, and it's just fun to be on the court with your, well, with my teammate. And I've gotten lucky to be, my, I love all my teammates, so, it's like whoever we get paired with, it always is like a good matching because it's always so fun to play. That's the biggest difference is the fun atmosphere of doubles and that's why most people usually enjoy doubles more than singles. Definitely, um, she's really become a vocal leader and number one leader by example. The best thing I can say about on leadership side is, you know, she's a great doubles partner, whoever she plays with. It's not so much about how good they play, but I've never had a girl not love playing doubles with her because of the support, the leadership, the camaraderie she builds with her doubles partner. It's huge in doubles. Everybody loves to, to be her doubles partner. That's a big compliment. I like to consider myself like a leader by example. So I'm always out here working hard, always like trying my best. And I think that they see that. And I mean, I would hope like they would do the same thing. And I think that a lot of those characteristics have, you know, implemented into their game and you know seeing me work hard and all that I think is really beneficial for them because it's kind of, when you come in as a freshman you're kind of scared you're like I don't know how this is going to be but knowing that like your upperclassmen and the people above you aren't going to be like down and like angry at you all the time if you make a mistake and stuff like that and it's, I think is really big. She does a good job of leading by example. Both Prisoner and Coach Blackburn say it's her natural athletic ability and her desire to keep improving that sets her apart from her peers. A lot of athleticism, a lot of, a lot of natural ability. Um, she was a two-sport athlete in high school, so we liked that. That was attractive because we knew she would get better in college being a one-sport athlete, but also 
you know, being a team captain, being the point guard for her high school basketball team, we knew she probably had some leadership qualities, some good team qualities that would help us and contribute that way too. My parents put me in a lot of different sports and I was one of those kids that could never choose which one I liked the best. So um, my main two were basketball and tennis and I just really, really enjoyed both of them so I didn't want to stop playing either of them. So that's what made me play so many. When being a point guard you have to be really quick and like that's one of my biggest uh, strengths on the tennis court is my fitness so I think it helps a lot with hand-eye hand coordination as well. The ability to be coordinated when you move, um, obviously quickness is important too but I think coordinated quickness is probably more, more important than just you know how fast you can run 40 yards. I would want them to say that they see me as you know, a leader and a hard worker. When I leave, I want them to remember that over everything else, that I was always out there giving it my best, no matter, no matter how I felt, no matter how I was doing. I was that person that never gave up, and I think that's what I would want everyone to see. Like, if there was a legacy, that's what I would want to leave. Her biggest strength, personality-wise, is work ethic. Um, nobody hits more balls than her on our team, and that sets the tone. Um, practice is important to her. She gets the most out of every minute she's out here and that trickles down to other players and sets the tone for us. I have changed so much since my freshman year. Um, coming in, I would say that my biggest strength was my fitness, like soul fitness. Um, that's what I relied on and now I would say that I use a lot more of my head and I'm not quite as crazy with my points as I was my freshman year, like setting up the points. I'm more strategic now and I think that I've developed a lot since my freshman year. Prisoner says that once her career is done at EIU, she'd like to move on to a role helping other players improve and grow on the court. Everybody that plays here is special, but she's done some some very special things and you know it's the type of player who you kind of you grab their ankles when they're walking across the stage trying to graduate. You'd love to have her have her, have, her, have her continue on here, but she has high goals for herself. She wants to be in college coaching, and we'll be really proud to call her an alumni of the program and you know, be proud of her progress after she leaves here, too. She wants to get a master's degree. She wants to continue on in tennis and coaching and give back some of the things she's learned over the years. So we're excited about kind of helping her see what that process takes her. I think she'll always want to play, but I think her, her big goal right now is um, is being being in a master's program, helping a, helping a, helping a team be successful next fall. That's one of my possible goals in the future. I'm going to try and be a grad assistant position somewhere for tennis, and um, I just really like I love the game of tennis. Like I love the sport, and I don't want to leave it. So, and I think that I have some good qualities that could I could implement onto others. Um, with my leadership, with my hard work, and I can vocalize that and get that off into coaching. The Panthers next play Friday at Bradley University and open their home outdoor season on Rex Darling Courts against Lindenwood on March 7th. Reporting for Panther Sports Talk, I'm Brad Kupiak. WEIU, your home for Eastern Illinois Panther Sports presents Panther Sports Talk. Highlights, player features, and coaches interviews with host Rich Moser. All things you need to know, EIU Sports on Panther Sports Talk. Join us Wednesday at 6.30 on WEIU. Salas hitch on the wing, cross court pass batted away, Blanford with a steal, he's got a breakaway, and a dunk for Stern Blanford. He got away with a little hang on the rim too at the end of that. <laughs> he did, but boy, that was uh, that was a pretty impressive dunk. He threw that down with some authority. It was a rim rocker. Shot fake and a dribble takes it in. Out of Verhagen at the point. Three pointer. Good. Big bucket by the freshman Verhagen. Zach with it out front. Goes left. Verhagen takes aim. Another three. Yes. Verhagen. Back to back threes. Panthers lead for the first time since the first half. Chapman at the left wing. Does a little foul line. Olivier works down the lane on the dribble. Up from four feet. Banked off. No good. Blanford put back. Yes. And he's fouled. Yes. Blanford a career high. 24 points. Caitlin Payne has it off the inbound, and that's the record there. 
Palambizio ran all the way through. Caitlin Payne came through a screen up at the top, set back and has three three-pointers here in the first half. In the lead, there's a chance that SIUE could be in the lead. Pass is intercepted by Caitlin Payne, who drains a three, and she's got six three-pointers all by herself here in the first half. Good heads-up play there by the junior from Chicago. For EIU, they swing it around to Olsen to Orisova, and Orisova drains a three. move driving down the lane lays it in Reggie Smith took it in up a little hesitation drive Nikki Nutt wants a timeout Eastern ahead 12 to 7. We see Reggie Smith with a little hesitation dribble getting all the way to the glass for the scoop shot with the right wing to Piper for Eastern now at the foul line Blanford open lane drives in laid it up good he's fouled boy they just left the boulevard wide open for that drive to Calvin fires inside nobody there intercepted by Reggie Smith Reggie runs it up three against two, passed it ahead to Blanford, laid it up and good. Pass got tipped and a good adjustment by Blanford. It was, that really slowed the pass up. Toward the corner, now brings it to the top, turns the corner on the drive down the lane, layup, good. He had to really double bump that to get it by Stone. That was a very nice drive by Chapman. He beat that easily off the bounce. Gets it to Dickerson. Dickerson bounced it over the timeline to Reggie Smith. He drives it into the lane, behind the back to a dunk, Olivier. Nifty play by Reggie Smith. Well, that got the crowd into the ball game a little bit. Both players, number 24 is Olsen with a big block in the middle. Two blocks now for Olsen. Payne has it running the floor was Taryn Olsen. And coming off the offside screen was Paul Ambizio. And Southeast Missouri was spending so much attention watching Taryn Olsen run down the floor. Great look that time by Caitlin Payne as uh, she was able to get that block shot, take it down the court, was able to throw it above the zone and get it into Morgan Palombizio. Going to try to take advantage of it. They swing it all the way around. Caitlin Payne, there we go. EIU's on the board now with one of those three-pointers. Kronk has it, gets to Orisova, cutting back door. And the Panthers have found a money play there. Trunk has it off the inbounds. It's all the way down. Hunter guarding her all the way down. Trunk draws the contact, makes the layup. Put a bit of smile on the face of the senior from Belleville. They give it to Orsova, triple teamed over to Palombizio to Crunk fires a three, and that one is in. Panthers are up 48-43. Good patience by the Panthers. And a couple times a day, they have taken that extra pass and have gotten a better shot because of it. When, when the top one and two seed only have to win two. Extra pass there by the Panthers. Caitlin Payne in the corner for three, and that's good. They really worked the ball around. Crunk got it into Brown. Brown got it out to Payne, and Payne drained the three. Production for Panther Sports Talk is brought to you in part by Johnson's Automotive Service is a proud supporter of Panther Sports on WEIU. Johnson's is a complete car facility for all your automotive repair and maintenance needs. Johnson's Automotive Service, keeping your life running.